And they say there's no life after death. Ye of little faith. Well, I think that's the last we'll be hearing from her. I don't know, you're full of surprises, aren't you? What's your next party trick gonna be? A bit hard to beat raising someone from the dead, don't you think? Now that I'm saying I'm a chip off the old block. Oh, I don't know. When it comes to walking on water. <laughs> what are you up to today? Knock and run? Or are you just going to shout names for his letterbox? Don't know why you're having a go at me. It's not like he even cared for Rosa. I mean, he could have said all that stuff about her. But he didn't. What about Kevin? How do you think he felt when he heard all that stuff? Livid? And for a minute there, I thought he was going to lamp him one. Now that would have been good. There you go. What is this rubbish anyway? Elgar. Yeah. What does the L stand for? Loser. I want a word with you. Who, what do you think you are, slacking me off to everyone? I didn't, that Sarah Platt made it all up. Oh, yeah, right. Do you know what? You are pathetic. Just because I wouldn't go out with you. Actually, I was quite relieved because you weren't much cop in the first place. Never really fancied second helpings. Oh. You arrogant pig. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Charm, good looks. Get that lad a drink from me. Cheers, darling. That coffee time. Right, coming up. We'll be able to rib her about that all day long now. I thought you were doing your community service. Oh, damn. Well, you'll have to rip her for a minute. There you go. There you are, Kenneth. Thank Keep you. the change. Thank you. Fishing? Cars? You'll be smoking a pipe next. <laughs> well, there were two of the patients at the hospital. I'm just on my way there now. So how is it going with Fag Ash Lil? <laughs> well, she spends more time outside on her cigarette breaks than she does behind the counter. Uh, now, there's a surprise. <laughs> Mind you, probably a good thing. She's hardly customer-friendly. Well, it's nice to know I'm not alone in my stuffing problems. Uh, yeah, I hope you're not comparing me to likes of Janice Battersby. Mm. Partial to a little bit of gossip. Quick to take offence. Tongue like a razor blade. Mm. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> I shall see you later. You will, yeah, love. Bye. Oh, that was fantastic. She does it just how I like it. Oh, David, I'm talking about the kebab. Though, that was pretty good too. I suppose you have to content yourself with fantasising about other blokes' women because I've ruined your chances with Rosie. Yeah, sorry about that. It's all right, close the way for Tina. Face it, she's not interested, mate. That's what she told you, is it? What is this, the big payback? Because it's pretty boring if you ask me. Oh, no. This is just the warm-up, mate. What are you doing? Getting rid of him. Hanging around you like some sad little perv just because he's got no girlfriend of his own. He came in for a kebab. Yeah, any excuse? You watch, you'll be coming round wanting a cup of tea, a nice little cosy chat, giving you the cow eyes, you saddo. Get lost, bro. <laughs> what, is that the best you can do? Stop it! I'm only telling him. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I've had enough. You promised me you'd stop doing this. What? This jealousy stuff. I thought you'd grown up. I have. Looks like it. Right, OK. From now on, then, I... I promise I'll just ignore him. Yeah, well, you better add. Because I can't go through it again, David. And I won't. Do you hear? Why is it? Oh, I was just walking Eccles. Who is looking a lot better than when I first met her? Has she recovered from her trauma yet? Just about. <laughs> Good. Do you have to get back straight away? I was about to make a pot of Earl Grey. Well, if you put it like that, I'm a sucker for a rhyming couplet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eccles. Right. You should show them all their streams. They will love it. Mm, the bear out. 
Taking you away for three old days. You should come with me. Aberdeen in January. No, thank you. Maria! Don't worry, I'm not as cause trouble. Uh, excuse me, have you made an appointment? Because if you haven't... It's fine. Why don't you make us all some coffee? I'm not here on a social call. Yeah, we'll have one anyway. If you're here to sound off again, I shall ring the police and get you arrested, pregnant or not. I'm not. I'm here to apologise. I see. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions about Jed. No, and you shouldn't have jumped in your car and tried to run him over either. Yes, I know. Hey, let's not hold a trial. It's been an emotional time. You weren't thinking straight. It's just that everything seemed to point to it. Yeah, in your own head. No. There was lots of things. Like, even Emily thought that you treated Jed badly. Boarding up his house when he was in hospital. And then lying to Jason to get him to do it. And calling an ambulance when he had a stroke. And giving him one of my flats, all mud cons, better than the stinking cesspit he was living in. But of course, that's Jed's take on it. Anyway, I thought you were here to apologise. Yeah, I am. I was wrong about Jed. And Liam? Can you see that now? I don't know. I can't think anymore. Well, I hope you will. And Maria. Thanks. I appreciate it. Rosie, could you pack these samples, please? Then I can get off. Sure. Why didn't you tell me what you'd done to Jed? About the flat? I did, yesterday. No. The other stuff. About you boarding his house up behind his back. Lying about him having moved. Because I wasn't proud of it. Not one of my better moments, was it? Still, it all worked out in the end. You saw Jed, how happy he was. Yeah. Though he didn't seem too happy when he went off. How'd you mean? Well, I saw him get into the cab and he looked a bit scared. Well, that. He was worried about his cat. Thought it might run off again if he took it. Oh, right. I don't know. Do a bloke a favour, what thanks do you get? Well, I wasn't expecting any gratitude. So, are you going to behave yourself while I'm away? Well, I can't get up too much without you, can I? I didn't mean to stay for lunch. But I, I hope I'm not abusing your hospitality. You're not. There. Now you can relax. <laughs> I must admit, it's wonderful to be able to... Go placidly among the noise and the haste and remember what peace there can be in silence. Try telling that to a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Try telling that to most people. They don't realise that speed blurs everything. Standing still creates clarity. Streetcar named Desire. One of my favourites. Really? Well, you'll have to come and see me in it. You're an actress. It's just a small production in a local theatre, but... Oh, it's a brilliant part. Stella or... Blanche. She's vain, deluded, full of self-pity. Sorry, you just reminded me of someone I know. No, but you're right, you're right. I don't think she's also passionate, feisty, a woman who embraces life. Absolutely. Which means that you will play her beautifully. Thank you, Ken. That's very sweet. I don't suppose... No, I couldn't. What? 
You wouldn't test me on my lines, would you? I'd be delighted. Oh. <laughs> Even though it does mean having to play the part of Stanley. No, I wouldn't do that to you. I see you more as a Mitch. Gentle. Sensitive. Gallant. The kind of man who's all too rare nowadays. There you go, Norris. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Uh, Liz. Hmm? Well, I, I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I couldn't help but notice that you and Lloyd are, are, are a couple. Yeah. What of it? Oh, no, nothing. No, no, nothing. I, I just wondered if the... Well, not to put too fine a point on it, the, the age gap didn't put you off. There's only a few years between us. He's older than he looks. Hmm. And I suppose you're younger than you look. No, I, I, I mean older than you look. <laughs> Sorry. Is there a point to this, Norris? Not really, no. It's just, just I, I wondered if, if you found it difficult at all. No. Oh. Right. Has this got something to do with that? Little girl, I've seen you with him. Oh, no, no, she's, she's, she's not a little girl. Oh, she's older than she looks, is she? Oh, yes, yes, she is, as a matter of fact, yes. Hey, my advice to you is go for it. If you both get on, it doesn't matter how old you are. Oh, I've, I've, I've no intention of, of, of going for it, as you say. I mean, you, you, your moral standards might enable you to engage in inappropriate relationships, but uh, mine don't. <laughs> Shane. I'll have a pint, please, Liz. Right, love. See, Dave is still giving you grief, then. Nah, it's a nutcase. First he's spreading lies about me, then he's trying to start a fight, you know? Give yeah, me, you'd have got one. Nothing I'd love more. If he didn't have a suspended for assault, that is. You kidding? Nah, it was just a scrap with some lads off the estate. Not serious, but if I hit him, I might end up inside. So he's a bit of a bad boy, is he? Has he ever given you hassle? Oh, yeah, plenty of times. Why? What did he do? Where do I start, mate? When he um, nearly killed my stepdaughter and ended up wrecking my marriage, or when he nearly killed his mum and tried to put me in prison for it. Hey, partner. Where have you been? I thought you'd been discharged. Whew, I wish. No, they moved me on to another ward. I had a bit of a setback. I'm fine now. Have you been? All right. Shivering myself to death out here. I'm a little lonesome. Mm. Well, I thought I'd better see it through, you know, otherwise we'd lose the spot. Mm. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. I look forward to getting out of here soon. <laughs> I've dug as far as the outside wall. Another couple of feet. They'll not see me for dust. Well, you couldn't tell me where you could, you? Oh, too risky. Tunnel might collapse. Thank you. Oh, well. Think of me here on the inside. Oh, I'll send you food parcel. No, I prefer fags. Hmm. So you're getting out soon then, are you? Yeah, looking forward to it. The doc says I've got to knock them on the head. Well, good for him. Hypocrite. I'm going to miss our little chat, so when you've gone. Me too. <laughs> are you ready? I am, yes. Have you been shopping? I thought we'd have a picnic. In this weather? Well, <clears throat> what I was thinking was, we could pretend that your flat's Audley Edge. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's one way of inviting yourself upstairs. There'd be nothing untoward. I just thought it would be, you know, cosy. Yeah, very. I think it's a great idea. I've got sausage rolls and scotch eggs and stuff. Well, it's hardly the food of love. Will you shut it? Well, it's a bit cheapskate, isn't it? Just ignore him. Hey, I love scotch eggs. Hey, and we could have a flask of tea to go with it. Ah, uh, well, now, I'm not totally cheapskate. I've brought some wine. Even better. <laughs> I hope you're not going to be too inebriated to work. Norris, get a light.
Well, better get going. Me too. It's no scrim still on your back. No, she's off today. It's your sister instead. <laughs> oh. You alright? Ah! Mike? Mike! Ah! Oh my god! Uh, I'll get some help! No, don't leave me! I'll be quick! Please! Oi! <laughs> Over here! Um, can you get someone quick? It needs to collapse! You've got a voice I can flame him fog on! <laughs> yeah, no! Fog are always telling me that! Look, someone's gonna be along soon, alright? <laughs> Uh, what I said, I wanted to get out of here. I didn't mean it like this. Hey, don't be so daft. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Mike? Mike! What do you want? Wondered if you got any ease. No. But if I did, I wouldn't give you any. Why not? You give them to kids, don't you? You what? That's what I heard. Yeah, were you heard wrong? Maybe, cos, I mean, it'd be like suicide, really, wouldn't it? Peddling drugs to kids. It'd be like, I don't know, driving your car into a canal or something. Get lost. Uh, uh, hiya. Hey, Wizzy. I'm sorry. No, he can't be. We think he had a clot on the lung. We tried, but he was fine before. I wouldn't say he was fine. He had an operation last week to replace one of the valves in his heart. He never said? No. Well, that was Mike for you. I always like to put on a cheery front. Nice bloke. Yeah, he was. You got no better to do? Not at the moment, no. Sad. So your mum's got a bit of a thing for psychos then, has she? You leave my mum out of this! Sorry! You're right, I was bang out of order there, cos mums are special, aren't they? We should treat them with respect, you know, look after them. I mean, man drives me mad, but do you know something? I wouldn't harm a hair on her head. Nice house. Oh, thank you. They're bigger than they look on the outside, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Is there something I can do for you? It was quite a surprise, Jed, turning up like that yesterday, wasn't it? Well, I must admit it was a relief. I did wonder what had happened to him. He disappeared so suddenly. Yeah, I'd heard he'd been in hospital a while back. Yes, that, that's how we bumped into each other. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> and he'd had a stroke. That's right. Was there any particular reason you wanted to know? No. Something I'd heard. So there was nothing else? No other injuries? Not as I know of. Right. OK, well, sorry to have kept you. Although, he did mention he'd been harassed by certain individuals and felt the stress of what he'd been put under 
caused the stroke. Right. Thank you. Shift your foot now. What's up, Davy boy? Too scared to come out and face me or what? Just to be scared of. <laughs> you pathetic. Well, at least I'm not a freak. No wonder your dad wants now to do with you. David! Oh. Oh, you know, you are a psycho. Get <laughs> oh. 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 off him! You are a flaming nutcase! Please oh. stop it! What are you doing? David! You are right. Cory is back in half an hour. My face! Leave him! Leave him! I'm not touching him! Get up, you freak! Get away from him! Get up then, big man! Oh, my face! Leave him! Leave him! I'm not touching him! Get up, you freak! Don't call an ambulance! Ambulance? And please! Not that bad. Please! Oh. Leave him alone! Yeah. Leave him! Leave Coronation Street! Yeah, yeah, we're the people! Come on, get out of here! Quick! There's been a fight! Get, it. Got get off him! him. Get off him! Get off me, Dad! What get are you off. doing? David. David, please. <gasps> what have you done to him? Look at him! Oh, that's right, ever good. He started it. You messed up this time, mate. I'll have you for this. What, what are you doing here? Where, where, where's your husband? No, it's just me. How are you? Look, I've got nothing to say to you. Uh, please, Mrs. Stone, I didn't mean to upset you. Who's upset? Excuse me. I, I, I know that there's been some misunderstanding between you and Tony. Don't talk so daft. Does he know you're here? No, I mean... Look, I haven't had my dinner yet. Uh, <laughs> Look, I don't feel good about the way you've been treated, all right? And I haven't had anything to eat either, so... Here we could have a nice chat, a little bit of lunch. How about that? Yeah? Come on. Oh, my God! David! That mad son! Come away, leave it now. They've had a fight. Yeah, he went for me. Yeah, so he flew with me. Oh, shut up! Both of you, we need to get into hospital. Oh, you get yourself indoors. I'm not running away, Mum. No, you do as you're told. You'll end up in prison this time. Yeah, you will. You better listen to your dad. You'll shut your mouth or I'll give you some more. You stay away from my son. You shut your face. Oh, great. Who called them? Why, you want to give somebody else a bat, You need to calm down. If you're making it worse. I didn't start it. You tell him. What's going on? I think he's broken my nose. I knew nothing about Mike, really. Only that he was really ill. Then he was on the mend. He even said that he'd be home in a few days. Well, maybe he didn't realise how serious it was. No. That nurse told me he's been in and out of hospital for years. I heard no way at all. Well, <laughs> Liana, please don't laugh about this. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to make it easier. 
He's just an ordinary fella. Nothing tragic or weird. Well, I suppose ordinary people die, don't they? This has really shaken me. Yeah, I can see it has. I don't know how I'd have coped. Jan, anybody would be upset. Really, really shaken me. I just couldn't help him, you see. But, but I... I just didn't know what to do. Last hot food order, so I thought I'd make it easier. Order the same as you, mix grill. I don't like a big meal midday. No, neither do I. We'll just pick it, shall we? Hmm. Where's your husband then? He's on a business trip. So he's left me spinning all his plates. I don't know, what with the factory and the development here. What? What, what do you want? I mean, what's all this about? I felt really terrible when I heard, well, when Tony told me about all the stress of you losing your home and it making you ill. That's all done with. I'm well enough now. Yeah, and we're both really glad to hear that. It's business, you see. It can make you a bit, well, single-minded. I don't know what you're on about. Barman, do you want a chaser with that pint? You don't really strike me as a Chardonnay kind of guy. Blanche is a wonderful part and a wonderful play. <laughs> it's gonna stretch me, that's for sure. This is my first lead role in years. Oh, you devoted yourself to your family, I can understand that. Well, I followed my acting dream in my own little way, but yeah. Always came second to family life. But the children have gone. And the husband has flown. And so now I am able to accept any part they wish to offer me. Well, good for you. Living the dream for us less adventurous people. <laughs> well, it's hardly Broadway and I must be boring you stiff. Not at all. I can't remember the last time that... Oh, blast. You have to go. No, 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 no. Hold on. Excuse me. Of course. Oh, hello, Leanne. It's Ken. Um, are you alone in the shop? Oh, good. I wonder if you could do me a tremendous favour. You've guessed. Yeah, well, look, I mean, I could get to the school on time if there's a problem, but I'm just a bit tied up. Yeah, yeah, if you could uh, walk him home and tell Blanche I'll be there in time to do his tea. I really do appreciate it, Leanne. Thank you so much. Bye. All done. One well, grandson sorted. <laughs> oh. Where have you been? Went for a walk to cool off. If you did that before you started thumping people. Hey, never mind thumping you. I've killed the lad. Oh, he started it. Oh, how old are you? Twelve. Old enough for strange ways. No youth offenders for you this time. Oh, self defence. Why won't anyone believe me? Oh. Tina saw him hit me. She saw the first punch. Did anyone else see? I don't know. It was a fair fight, Dad. And he's ended up in hospital. Yeah, well, he would the worse. Oh, you saw his face. Oh, busted nose, man. Big deal. Are you sure Tina saw everything? Yeah, she saw. They can't touch me, can they? Oh, they can't. It was self-defence. If that's his mum. Oh, look, stay there, love. I'll go. No, I'll go. You'll only upset her. This is Windass. Please, Constable George Coulter. Is there a Gary Windass at home? Oh, what do you want him for? Let, let him in, love. He, he were only defending himself. Ma'am, do you want to get your coat? No, there's no need for that. Look, you're arresting me or what? Well, it's your choice. You can come voluntarily or I can arrest you. It's up to you. He hit me. I was defending myself. Look, if you're going to make a statement, sir, 
I'm going to have to caution you. D don't say anything, son. I've got no to hide. Gary Windeth, I'm arresting you for assault occasioning grievous bodily harm. David, you're still in shock. Do you want some time to gather your thoughts together? No. Look, that's what happened. I, I was bringing the shopping in and he just tried to push his way in. This will form your official statement, remember? You don't want to revise anything? No. I tried to get rid of him, but he wouldn't go. Pretty simple. OK, thanks for that. We'll be back in touch. Every time I look at you, it looks worse. Does it hurt? Well, I've got a headache and I feel all stuffed when up. When I saw all that blood and... Yeah, you... I know. Listen. When your eyes roll back. Yeah, listen. He could have killed you. Teens, have the police spoken to you yet? No, she says she's going to take our statements now. Right. Well, you need to tell them what you saw, OK? How he went mad. I will. Don't get so worked up about it. Yeah. And listen, tell them he hit me first. I mean, lie down. He hit me first and I had to fight back. But he didn't hit you first. Do you want him to get away with it? After what he's done to me? No. Well, he I will. Mean... Unless you say he did. Well, you saw what he's like. He could have killed me, all right? He's a fuck. Do you want him living next door to my mum? Or your dad? Who's it going to be next? I know. Teens, you've just got to tell him he hit me first and I couldn't defend myself. Right? Say it. He hit you first. You couldn't stop him and you went mad. Even if he did start it, you made a real mess that lad's face. He punched me, so I put my hands up to keep him well, off you me. did a bit more than Look, that. Look, I'm on a suspended sentence. I might go down. This is what he wants, innit? The nasty Well, little... so he set himself up for a bit of GBA? That's why he kept going on and only wanted me to hit him. OK, Mr Windass, if you could sit down. I need to have a word with my custody sergeant. Custody? No! No! This isn't helping. You need to calm yourself down a bit, yeah? You're going to charge me, aren't you? It's not my decision, Gaddy. Sit yourself down and I'll get you a cup of coffee. But why are you all acting like I started it? Why won't anyone believe me? This is all wrong! <laughs> School plays, yeah, I don't know. We actually did some quite good productions. We tried to be as professional as possible. and uh, But, you know, with teenage cast and school plays, you know what they're like. They can be very touching, all those eager young people. Yeah, all doing drama to get out of gym lessons. No! <laughs> <laughs> we actually have some quite chubby Hamlets and Juliets. <laughs> Leanne! Oh, well, where is she then? Uh, oh, no, of course, of course she wouldn't know. Yeah, well, it never occurred to me that Blanche might be out. So, what have you done with him? Oh, good, yeah, he, he likes the book. He's, he's got. Toys and books in the back room there. Yeah, I know, I know, Leanne. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I do appreciate your help. And I'm sure that Peter would too. Yes, so I'll, I'll get there as soon as I can. Bye. Naughty granddad. She'll get over it. Simon loves her and she's great with him. But you have to go. Eventually. In a bit. Coffee. Tea. What can I tempt you with? You, know, you should show a bit more respect sometimes. I, I mean... Oh, I'm old enough to be his granddad. Of course you are. I'm going to give him a right good telling off. No, I don't want to. You, you, you mustn't say anything. OK. All right, oh. I won't. No, I, I've got nothing to complain about. <laughs> Not nothing at all. Hang on a minute. You got another drink yet? I won't say anything to Tony, promise. Um, I don't want him to think I'm, uh, 
telling tales, you know. I won't even say that we met. How's that? Thank you. I should be going. Have one last drink. We'll do a toast, eh? To your nice new flat. To you. It's funny though, isn't it? I mean, some might say Tony Gordon. He'd never rehouse anyone unless he absolutely had to. It's a top new flat and all, isn't it, that one? Why do you suppose he did that? Oh, Janice, just the woman. Uh, listen, if it's about that hospital trolley, I filled it up like you said. Yes, and, and thank you. I took it right round the wards and I didn't run out of a single thing. Right. These, these are for you. Mrs Scott came looking for you. Who? Mike's widow. Oh, right. Didn't even know he was married. Her name's Laura. She heard that you were with him when he died. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't do anything. There's nothing anyone could have done. I was useless. But you were there. Yeah, but... Just knowing that he didn't leave this world all on his own, she's found that a great comfort. Well, it, it isn't always about doing heroic things. Sometimes it is just being there or holding a hand or... Well, the smallest things can mean everything. Well, I could manage a sherry. How about you? Well, no, not a sherry, perhaps, but something along those lines. He's satisfied, though. Excuse me, we've got to get back to the hospital. What's he tell the police? Get out of the way. David's got concussion, her broken nose and black eyes. Thank you for asking after him. He'll survive. Rats usually do. Get out of the way. You know, I feel sorry for you. Really sorry. David's had his problems. <laughs> they barely started, love. Is that a threat? But your Gary's a brute. A mindless thug. He's out of control. And your son's a liar. Come on, love, let's get back to the hospital. My daughter saw it all. She'll tell the police what really happened. Then we've got nothing to worry about, then, have we? I feel sorry for you. Come in, love. We'll ring the police again and see what's happening. I've marked all the school holidays and the shady bits are high season. And do you really think we can ask that sort of weekly rent? It's the going rate. And the ones with amber stickers, early inquiries. Nothing confirmed, but looking hopeful. It's not very often an administrative system impresses me, but really... You've out Norris. Norris. Is that a compliment or an insult? And I've been thinking about the website, oh. taking a few photos. I thought we could put a nice background in later, a mountain or something. Oh, yeah. She's a marketing miracle. Yes, and, and the kind of business partner that's worth a weight in gold. Very like me, then. Not really, no. I've not been wasting my time, either. As if. No, I've contacted several insurance companies and asked them for quotes that they're sending us the details. What a team we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you... Excuse us, Rita. I, I think we need a little bit more room. Let's get this table before someone else takes it. Grow up. No one's amused. Oh! Oh, are you leaving? Uh, I'm afraid that I have to. Uh, do you mind if we... Uh... Oh, no, no. Help yourself. Uh, Emily has brought me these flowers from Mike's wife. Uh, widow. <laughs> Don't forget to read the card. Yeah. When I'm on my own, though, yeah. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Oh, St. Emily strikes again. Oh, she's all right. Yes, ladies. Oh, uh, you having another? Yeah. Go on. Right, a pint and a white wine tap. Do you fancy going for a takeaway later? Oh, you've cheered up. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Emily has made me realise how easy it is to do a tiny little thing and make a great big difference. Yeah? Well, it puts everything into perspective, doesn't it, you know? I was so glad I was there for Mike. Good. It makes you look at life, you know. Oh, 
Oh, they have a twin in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. I mean, what am I doing? Wasting my life sewing flaming knickers. <laughs> you are? Well, I've missed my vocation, haven't I? Should have been a nurse. You? And it's not too late, either. You are? Do you remember when you had bronchitis? I stayed up with you all night long. Yeah, I know, but it, it's not the same, is it? And do you know what that GP said? He said to me, Janice, you are a born nurse. I mean, why didn't I listen to him, eh? It was like God was trying to tell me something. Well, better late than never. Mm. Gary was looking for a fight. David was telling him to go away. And then? I went on for a bit. David was shouting and... Gary just laughed. And then the fight started? Yeah. He hit him. Who hit who? Gary. Gary hit David. David, are you with me? What do you want from the shop? Not anything, Mum. I'm not bothered. It's orange juice. What's wrong? Well, how long are they going to take? Well, I've not been long. You want them to get it right, don't you? Yeah, as long as they're not twisting things. And why would they do that? You have told them the truth, haven't you? Mum? Because if you've... embellished it, they'll find out and you'll be in serious trouble. But I am. Tell her, Tina. You just went for me and I've not done anything. That's what happened, Gail. Gary started it. Well, there's something wrong with that boy. Seriously wrong. I'll go to the shop, get you something to drink. It's just as I thought. Tony was typically insensitive and he upset you. He does that sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know, he, he, he doesn't deserve a woman like you. Well, thank you, Mr. Oh. Stan. Oh. I'd better get back to work. And... No. You won't say anything, will you? What's that? What's what? Your neck. What happened to your neck? Huh? Oh, 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 I've got to go. Who did that? Nobody. Nobody lent it to me. It looks like you've been there, didn't it? It's very nice. Um, excuse me. No, the scar on your neck, what was it? Who did that? Leave me alone! Please, please don't go. Did my husband try and strangle you? Mr Stone.